so hello friends welcome back to the channel and if you are new then welcome to the channel this is the first video of our machine learning playlist and in this video i'm going to cover our college syllabus so this is the first topic in the introduction which is well posed learning problems in machine learning so without wasting much time let's just start the video so what is well posed first let's understand the meaning so here as you read that well posed meaning is having a unique solution whose value changes only slightly if the initial condition changes slightly that means if the input is changed then the output will also change that means if there is a problem and uh, the machine learning model gave solution to it and after some time you change it something in the problem the machine learning model will also change the solution so that is well posed meaning now let's understand the entire context okay so a computer program is said to learn from experience e in context to some task t and some performance measure p now if its performance on t was measured by p it upgrades with experience e now this sentence is a little bit confusing i'll explain it to you the performance is measured by p the task is measured by t and the experience is measured by e this is said in the statement and also as we do more task then as per the experience that means how many times you do the task as per the experience you will gain uh, i mean your performance of doing the task will increase right so this is the entire meaning of the statement given over here so i hope you understood now let me give you an example uh, let's consider a student is learning alphabets now that child has to learn the entire alphabet because he or she is in her learning initial stage right so as many times as they will practice the alphabet they will become perfect with it right so the task is to learn the alphabets the experience is how many times they did the task and the performance is how good they learned it so that is the example for well posed learning problem now let's go to the next slide here any problem can be segregated as well posed learning problem if it has this three traits that is task performance measure and experience as i said when a student is learning alphabets there is a task which is learning alphabet there is a performance measure how good they are at it and the experience how many times they did the task they are uh, i mean how many times they are practicing it okay so these are the examples to better filter emails as a spam or not by the machine learning models a checkers learning problem handwriting recognition problem a robot driving problem and face recognition problem so this all come under well posed learning problem examples so let's see all of them one by one the first is to better filter emails as spam or not so here the three things are given the task performance and the experience so the task is to classify the emails as it is a spam or not spam the performance is that how accurately it is giving the classification that is the fraction of emails accurately classified as spam or not spam and what is the experience over here observing you labeling mails as a spam or not spam so when you check the email uh, i mean gmail in your mobile then when you go to the spam section and you see over here there there will be a button called not spam so if you click that button after seeing the mail then those kind of mails will be classified as not spam and they will directly come into your primary box they will not go into the spam box so that is the experience they observe you how you label the mails as a spam or not spam so they learn by seeing that thing okay so i hope you understood this now let's go to the next slide next example is a checkers learning problem checkers is uh, a game basically uh, 
where you have to defeat your opponent and um, here the task is playing the checkers game here the performance is the percentage of games won against the opposer so you have to win the game against your op opponent that is the performance and what is the experience playing implementation games against itself that means sometimes it may play with itself like to learn it sees how the op opposer is playing and uh, sometimes it plays with itself also and it checks some things that what step is the op opponent taking what step should i take now so it analyzes all things and it improves its performance so that is the checkers learning problem now let's go to the next example handwriting recognition problem how a machine recognizes handwriting if you write your name uh, for example neha that's my name so if you write neha then you scan it then how the camera or mobile or any machine is going to recognize that the written thing on the paper is neha okay so here the task is to acknowledge the handwritten words within the portrayal and what is the performance percentage of words accurately classified so for example some people have uh, bad handwriting some of us have good writing so what happens is it has to learn every handwriting so after learning all types of handwriting it will be uh, good at classifying i mean good at recognizing the handwriting right so its percentage of uh, recognizing the words is its performance now what is experience a directory of handwritten words with given classification that means if i wrote neha on the paper and after its scanning so its output should match with the actual expected output that i want so i will give him that i written neha on the paper so the output was neha so it will match its output and my expected output so it will match these both things and according to the percentage its performance will be measured so that is hand recognition now this is a robot driving problem just like tesla car here the task is to drive in public four lane highway using side scanners that means there are so many camera scanners in front of the car so it will scan the uh, four lane highway and after that it will drive it will see if other cars are coming or not should i stop should i take a turn should i take a u turn so these all factors come right what is the performance the average distance progressed before a fallacy that means uh, how much average distance it traveled without having uh, without getting failed that is its performance and what is the experience order of images and steering instructions steering instructions noted down while observing a human driver that means uh, in all examples almost all examples the machine learning is learning from human right so here also the machine will uh, scan the road and it will see what uh, thing uh, i mean what uh, steps are the human taking that means if there is a need of taking u turn then how the driver is uh, moving the steering they have to observe it right so these are all the experiences and uh, let's go to the next one face recognition problem so here the task is to predict different faces different types of faces performance is able to predict maximum types of faces and here the Ex experiences training the machine with maximum amount of data sets of different face images that means here we want the machine to recognize different kind of faces uh, let's say we are training our machine to recognize the shapes of the faces so how the experience how it will gain the experience we will give some uh, set of photos to the machine model and we will give the photos with the label that 
if a photo has uh, contains a girl image with round shape so i have to give the label that it is a girl with round shape or uh, if i'm giving a photo of a boy face with oval shape then i have to label that this photo is of a boy or uh, having face of oval shape so that is its experience what we feed to the machine that is their experience and sometimes it is uh, observed by themselves we don't actually need to feed every time we don't need to feed uh, um, input to the machines sometimes they observe sometimes they want it so that's all these are all the examples of our well posed learning problems i hope you understood my explanation i tried to explain it in a simpler manner and i hope you liked the video and if you did then click that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel because it helps me a lot it will not cost you any money so just press that like button and subscribe to the channel that's the thing i want from you and i will see you in next video thanks for watching